Hello, this is Minder Chen. Uh, in this segment of electronic commerce lecture, I'm going to focus on a phenomenon called long tail. It is particularly important in the e-commerce world. Uh, let's use this simple diagram to explain um, what we mean by long tail. Uh, if if you consider this uh, chart um, um, with the curve indicating um, the number of units sold, which uh, the y-axis represent the popularity, and then um, on the x horizontal axis, uh, just indicating um, various books, number of books. So the head of this curve is um, our, our popular item, indicate popular items. And the long tail um, indicate product which are much uh, less popular. The area under um, the curve uh, indicate more or less the revenue generated by the sales of the each of the item, uh, assuming um, they have the same price and, and certainly uh, some popular item could be more expensive could be cheaper it depends on the situation the term long tail was kind of coined by chris anderson um, he wrote a, um, an article with the title long tail at the wire magazine in 2004 and a, a more academic article, uh, you can find the link here, uh, called From Niches to Riches, um, dissect the anatomy of the long tail um, from a Harvard professor or MIT professor. So let's, let's look at the implication of a long tail in the context of e-commerce. Uh, first of all, um, on the web, um, company can carry more um, items. Just using um, movie documentary as an example, uh, blockbuster uh, local blockbuster may carry seventy five uh, documentary. Netflix may carry um, about a thousand documentary. And but Amazon carried uh, much much more about seventeen thousand. Uh, this is based on Chris Anderson's um, Wire magazine data in two thousand and four. So basically, online retailer carry much much more item, uh, particularly those which are not so popular. And what um, the online retailer have done is actually to build something called recommendation system. Um, Chris Anderson used uh, a music um, CD or sound example. Uh, for instance, if you go to Amazon looking for music and then um, looking for Britney Spears music, uh, the recommendation system may say, oh, since you like Britney, you may like uh, other um, musicians' uh, music. Um, I'm, I'm not familiar with the, uh, those musicians, but they will point out some other musician or record which are much less popular. Okay. Uh, in in terms of the book, Amazon certainly pioneered this recommendation system. Uh, for instance, I was looking for a book by Tim Brown, who is the um, um, maybe the CEO of um, of Ideal, uh, called Change by Design. And then, because I'm interested in something called design thinking, um, or a, a method which can help you to be more innovative. And on that book's page, if you scroll to the bottom, you will see something like the following. Uh, say, customer who bought this item also bought. Okay, so they list a number of books. Um, two by um, 
Tom Kelly, who also worked at、um, Ideal, and Roger Martin,、um, who is from Canada、uh, in academic field,、um, is also considered a well-known figure in design thinking. So that certainly would intrigue my interest in looking at other book which I'm not familiar with, and 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 assuming those book are less popular, I may end up buying it. And because of that,、uh, those less popular items may、um, may start seeing the increase of sales. So in this case,、um, so the demand curve for the long tail may change. So this was the original demand curve over here.、Um, Chris Anderson used、uh, another example of、uh, a novel, a kind of a mountain climbing strategy novel. Called Into Thin Layer, which was really, really popular. And, and before that book was published many years ago, there's another book by Joe Simpsons called Touching the Void, which didn't get a lot of attention. Was out of print when this Into Thin Layer air was published, but people start recommending、uh, Touching the Void, and because of that, the sales of the Touching Void. Uh, start to to increase,、um, and and even become much more popular after a while,、um, comparing to into the thin、um, air. And so, for online retailer,、uh, sometimes the total volume of the low popularity item、uh, may exceed the volume of high popularity item. Um, the the reason partially is because of the recommendation system. Also, it's easier for people to search that massive amount of item. The carrying cost may be much lower because they don't have to have expensive storefront. They do have to have kind of storage space, but、uh, the cost per unit、uh, are much、uh, cheaper. Uh, other than Amazon, Netflix has something called Cinematch, which is also an example of recommendation system. You will see this type of recommendation system in a lot of online retail store. So, in terms of number of items carried by、uh, traditional、um, brick and mortar store, comparing to large online store,、uh, this is a comparison. Instead of forty thousand to hundred thousand books,、uh, Amazon carry easily three、uh, million to five million books um, um, for CDs, for DVD, or electronic、um, products.、Um, it's the same thing.、Uh, this is from a Sloan Management Review article. It's it's a、um, academic、uh, research paper.、Uh, you're encouraged to. Take a look at it,、um, and <clears throat> in in the book by Chris Anderson called "Free: The Future of Radical Price,"、um, he kind of indicate、um, the shelf space or the cost of the shelf space for the online retailer is unlimited. So、um, for the Since the shelf space for the physical retailer are limited, they can only afford to carry、um, popular item, high profit margin, hopefully. And for hybrid retailer like Amazon,、uh, what do we mean by hybrid? They are online retailer, but they're selling、um, mainly physical goods. Okay, and this is before Amazon start to offer ebook or or music, movie download or streaming. So it's considered a hybrid retailer. The pure digital retailer,、uh, online retailer, they're selling uh, uh, digital goods.、Uh, so, like some of the music downloading website.、Um, so, in in terms of the pure digital retailer, they can afford to carry even、uh, unlimited number of. Digital goods because the carrying cost are much less, even comparing to the hybrid、uh, retailer. 
and it it's worthwhile to look at the the cost or the <coughs> cost structure of uh, physical product and digital product. Uh, this is actually for music um, for the music industry. Uh, this is actually the um, creation cost for music artists, including their profit margin and how they may publish it. And if we divided the CD track by by twelve, and this is the number of um, this is the cost sixty two cents per track uh, to deliver online, charging maybe by the online retailer for digital music, um, ended up per sound could be seventy nine cents. Uh, I believe Apple's iTunes charge typically ninety nine cents. Apple make about thirty thirty three cents of. Um, the mark on um, the profit margin um, and charge the artist for that but for CD uh, the price uh, for the whole CD uh, basically you have to buy the whole CD you cannot buy per sound and so the per CD on average is about $15 so so the cost structure are different and the way you sell it in terms of one sound or buy the whole CD are also different And so last, let's look at just the anatomy of the long tail. Um, and in terms of um, company uh, comparing Amazon, Netflix, or Rhapsody, which sell music online, in terms of um, in terms of um, their t um, the item they they carry. Um, you find out that um, some of the obscure product uh, you cannot get, but you can only get online, uh, which is what we call the um, the tail end of the long tail. Um, it counts for actually uh, fifty percent of the total sales for Amazon. It counts for. 20% for Netflix and 22% for Rhapsody. And over time, if, if, if you remember the changing demand curve, the percentage of the long tail um, probably would increase over time for some of those online retailers. So this is actually a dramatic um, kind of change in the e-telling marketplace, uh, you need to thinking about what you want to carry and, and how many you want to carry. If you can afford it, you probably want to carry as many items as possible. If you're small entrance to the marketplace, then you may want to consider a, a niche online market. For instance, only carry documentary, like an example we mentioned earlier. And, and so you can still have the long tail without spending too much money uh, up front. So I strongly encourage you to read um, Chris Anderson's article f um, on the Wire magazine on the long tail. Um, so I'll see you next time. Thank you.